Hey you guys, so this is What's Good for Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. All the episodes are out on Netflix as of May 4th, and there are six episodes. Some are a little less than an hour, the last two are a little over an hour, but if you are definitely into, I'd say, the Bridgerton series as a whole, like you've watched season one and season two, this is definitely one to check out. Um, you know, and of course they are based on like real people, but they let you know entirely straight out the gate, like, hey, some of the stuff is very much fictionalized, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. And it is very much another romance story. It's another take on you know, this romance story between Queen Charlotte and King George. Not only though do we see Charlotte, we get to also see Lady Danbury, and we also get to see a young Violet, and it's very interesting to see how, how they all kind of come to be, like, you know, come into their own, I would say, because you can definitely start going back after watching this, I would say, prequel ser uh, series. You can go back and watch seasons one and two, and you can see how, not necessarily maybe mannerisms, but given the situations that they've been in, how do things start to connect? Um, especially given Queen Charlotte, you can see a lot of um, comparisons and connections given, you know, especially when it comes to season one and season two from this new show. It's one I really, I really did enjoy. Shonda Rhimes did say this was, like, this is a limited series. It was intended to essentially be a limited series, but there is the potential for more. And it was also interesting. It, it's nice that it even though it is on Queen Charlotte, they do focus a good amount, like I said, on Lady Danbury, as well as a little bit on Violet. I would also say, if you are into Bridgerton, this is one where continuing on, like when it comes to season three and season four, particularly season three though, since that's the next one, there are things in here because it's not, even though it is a prequel show, they hint, they go to present day um, events after season two that I think will carry into season three. So I think it's very beneficial to watch if you wanna make sure you kinda have everything ready for that new season. So those are my thoughts on this show. If you have been able to watch, feel free to leave your thoughts down below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.